This is Restaurant Deal. So my contractor wasn't there when I stopped by yesterday. Um, he saw his guys were working just fine. And they're just doing a whole bunch of digging. I'm not quite sure what the point of uh, digging these giant footings is. It seems a little overkill. And that's something I got to look into. But um, usually on uh, Thursdays, I don't go down there. I usually go to the Placerville location. Um, takes care of some admin stuff. But um, now... Uh, the contractor's calling me back down there because, yet again, he wants to talk about more stuff. And so, at this point, it kind of feels like um, I'm the contractor because I'm always needing to be there. Now, maybe maybe that's because I'm uh, a big part of it. Maybe, you know, because uh, I'm up, up in there shit and I need to know. But I only need to know because I, I've gotten screwed so many times in the past. So, um... Yeah, so he's got me coming down there again. I mean, it's, it's it's not like I'm, you know, shooting next door. It's, you know, it's a two-hour trip for me. So um, hopefully he's got some important stuff to talk to. But, I mean, I got to tell you, it's starting to feel like I'm the guy that's, that's doing it all. You know, I don't want to have to hold somebody's hand, you know. Anyway, I'm going to head down there. We'll uh, take it from there. Okay, I'm supposed to have a meeting here in a few minutes. Uh, talk to the architect and building uh, con the contractor and uh, maybe the engineer. I'm not sure if he's going to show up, but we'll see how it goes. Hey. Morning. Morning. Hey, Brent. Seems to me like there's a lot of issues with the plans, there's the measurement issues, there's, there's placement issues. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on with the structural the seismic upgrade. Yeah, it's yeah. Like some of the stuff that this guy's requiring it is just, I shouldn't have a question the, the GMAP, uh, according to my contractor, want, want brand new electrical living here, 400 amp panel, and you know, at one point, you guys were talking about uh, three phase would have cost me an extra twenty thousand yeah. dollars, and, and it's like I kind of figured like someone would say, hey, you know, if you, you didn't have that floor mixer, I could save you twenty thousand dollars, but I had to rely on him to, to say that, and that's kind of upsetting because you know I thought I thought we were all in with you know pick the best plan for you guys, and, yeah. and, and here I am. I'm doing the work, I'm finding the fire sprinkler guy, I'm getting bids, I'm putting it all together. Am I the contractor or am I the lead? That's what I feel like. I'm a chef, I don't know shit about this stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I agree. If we can get it even like four inches on that side of the wall, it up with the trim of the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. If we yeah. can just pretend that this is an existing building and we're not redesigning it and we have to just freaking do whatever we want, and I don't understand why I'm paying these yeah. people so much money and, and yeah. we're just sitting here and spending our days fixing it. I mean, I've, I've, I've already had to pay him, uh, I don't even know how much he's racking up a bill because he's rewriting all these things and, and you're here now and we're going to redo this. How much money? Well, I know, but these, this guy, I mean, these guys are cheap, you know, and, and they just they just take a square and they're like, oh, well, we'll put it here, we'll put it here. They don't think anything about money. You know, well, yeah, I mean, in, in the scope of the cost of engineers, they're cheaper. Well, than but, so tell me about the three more down here, because there's the hallway ones that I'm like, okay, you're going to put a wall in a hallway that's already just barely, you know, acceptable for wheelchair access. Now you're putting another wall. Now it's like less than a four foot pathway. So well, how does that work? Yeah, I don't know anywhere around this one because I mean, yep. Yep. the other option is to have the brick, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. No. Um, yeah, we've done a lot of masonry retrofits, you know, on existing buildings and I don't 
of stuff that happened. Um, so you still have you'll still have 42 inches clear here. Maybe 41 and a half, and then like you know, the bricks the bricks not perfectly smooth, depending how tight you see. Sure. 